Well, I better make another bandwagon considering that I have a feeling that this person would be commentated on a lot. I mean, I was going to be doing the commentary on the climate change skeptic, but fuck it. This video is apparently more important than saving potential lives in the future. I need to do that sometime soon. Hello there everyone and welcome, my name is A363MTR, here to kick some ass because I got your back. For my next commentary, we're going to be doing the commentary on another 12 year old! Yay! Well, the account is called Skateboard Kid 2002 and he's another up and coming commentator. And a ranter. And some kind of random video maker. Also, Sean Sampson and Quill Commentaries have made a commentary on him, so I have a feeling that I'll forever become the commentator who will always officially start a commentary bandwagon. Before I start, I have a few disclaimers. One, I might as well address the elephant in the room. In my second commentary, aka the one on Jazz416, I've said this about COPA. COPA, which stands for Children's Online Piracy Protection Act, is a federal U.S. law that requires children under the age of 13 that cannot access the internet. Well, maybe they can, but they can't create an account on any social media site. If there are a bunch of children on this site, then the site will have to pay a fine. The only exception to this is when a parent has consent to have their child have an account, which in this case, I highly doubt that you do. Well... I didn't do my research. COPA is actually a law that requires the online sites to not collect anyone's information or are 12 years old or younger. There will be some sites that can collect the children's information, but that has to come with parental consent. And I'm not just talking about a child saying, Baby, can I play a crappy game lead? And the mother approves of it by not giving the rat's ass, but by charging a very small amount to the parent's credit card, which is one of the most common method allowed by COPA. The reason why I've said back there that it was against the law, though it technically isn't, is because there are some sites that doesn't want to deal with having information on anyone 12 years old or below. So they just ban anyone who confesses that they are 12 years old. If they have a bunch of actual children on the site, however, then they will get a fine of 16,000 US dollars per violation. And some of the most notable offenders was Justin Bieber fan site with 1 million dollars and played on Inc with the biggest fine of $3 million. I will admit that I should have clarified this in my video, but my point still stands that Jazz416 shouldn't be making YouTube videos without his parents' consent. If they didn't give him consent, that is. And the same rule should be applied towards you, skateboard kid. Two, the main reason why I'm using Lemmy Koopa for my avatar in this video when I was originally going to be planning on using him as one of my one-shots and commentaries that had me in them is because Skateboard Kid used Mordecai as his avatar in the video, which means that he stole it from me, in which I've accidentally stole it from the Masked Star Maker. But Damn it. Well, at least I'm giving Lemmy Koopa some love. Oh, and uh, by the way, I'm sorry that I stole the Mordecai avatar Star Maker. Can we still be friends? Oh, and a uh, skateboard kid has been subscribed to me for a while, so, uh... I honestly don't know as to what to say about this. And three, apparently in the comment section of Quote's commentary on him, he only used Google Plus for his longer commentaries. I mean, he's using an editing program for this video, but for anybody who wants to do a commentary on him, prepare to be deeply sad within this next few commentaries. So, here are the degrees for the video, and with that being said, let's take a look. Hi, I'm Bad Money. Okay. We're like in... Let's see. We're in, like, probably three seconds, and there is a problem. Is it me, or does anybody smell the stench of the few seconds in cliche? It's probably me, since I haven't took a shower today. Also, three words, use a script. One, that is a fake warning screen. What do you mean that's a fake warning screen? It has the word warning on it, which still technically makes the screen relevant. Oh, I'm sorry, was it because that you wanted afterwards to play on the actual screen instead of on the piece of paper? Well, aren't you the editing Nazi here? Wait a minute, this still doesn't add up. Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna do some research. Okay, so what I found was this. At the end of the video, Kira 
Kafter mentioned a username called ChaseAce5127. So I looked this guy up and basically Kafter ripped off Chase Ace. So in some cases, I can see why he's quote unquote ripping off the warning screen, but you really need to clarify next time on how exactly the warning screen was a fake. And even then, I still think that any kind of warning screens can be real. And two, brand money hasn't been relevant since a year. Okay, who is this Brad and Money person? I have no idea as to who that guy is, and it would be great if you, the commentator, would at least provide me some kind of way to show us who Brad and Money is. Like, I don't know, provide me the channel link down in the description box below. That way I can try to at least see if whether or not if what you're talking about is actually true. Oh, and before you say, well, didn't you at least try to search him up? I did. And I still have no fucking clue as to what you're talking about at all creator of these videos like i said before you are not brad money and he hasn't been relevant since last year i have a feeling that you're just gonna repeat your points over and over again so i'll just keep watching the video and see if you do for more information visit www.youtube.com do I have to repeat myself again? Oh yeah, but you repeated the whole idea of you not repeating your points again three times! One for the text that you used, and two for... Um... I'm gonna be honest with you here and think that you're just lazy and wanted to make some copy pasta with that phrase during your editing phase of that video. Enjoy the show! <laughs> Even Justin Bieber can sing better than you. I'm not saying that I actually like Justin Bieber, but he's better than you. Hooray for unnecessary insults! Now we'll see as to whether or not if the person that you're commentating on will scream out CYBERBILLY for hurting his feelings. Don't worry, let me get the emotional first aid kit out, but you, skateboard kit, need to go to the principal's office. Hi guys, this is Brad Money. Oh my god, you are not Brad Money, so shut up. Rude! Don't tell people to shut up! How would you like it if someone would tell you to shut up? No, I'm not even joking here. Why the fuck would you tell someone to shut up in your commentary? Also, I was right. You have repeated your point so far in the video. Well, here's a suggestion. Don't. It drags the commentary throughout the entire video if you only bring up one point over and over and over again. If you have nothing to say on that point, then move on with another point within the commentary. If you absolutely need to, then you may repeat your point only once, but that's it. I'm going to show you a collection of my DVDs and VHSs. Let's first take a look at the VHSs. Here's the Baby Newton 2002 VHS. Front, back, side, other side, top. It, it's been ripped off. Don't let the tape automatically fall on the ground because it could break. I don't think that it would break at this height that he had. I mean, it's somewhat more durable than something like a DVD or a Blu-ray. Plus, that is not the quote-unquote baby newton vhs it's just a i don't know a pvs nova documentary didn't you watch the video it was obvious that the tape as well as the cover said jesus here's the vhs this is 2000 not 1998 H hello are, are you there Oh, um, okay. You've left. I'll just wait here in this corner, then. Maybe I'll have a wonderful conversation with this person who sits in the corner that we all know and love named Bob. I'm sorry, but what was the point of the joke? You never even tried to refute this point or even say a problem within the video in the first place. Was it you saying that you can't take it anymore or that you just wanted to quit the commentary? Well, the delivery of the joke sucked. Not only that, and it's not just you, but is it me or is the joking kind of predictable now? 
Also, I've noticed something throughout your commentary so far. Not once have you given the user that made the video any sort of constructive criticism. That's the whole point of commentaries. If anything, I feel like as if you made this video all because you wanted an excuse to be mean-spirited. That's just smacks of insecurity on your part. Then again, you're 12. I'm not surprised that you're insecure. Here's the baby Mozart 2000 VHS. By the way, I'm very sorry about the damage on the cover. Probably because you have terrible skills at scissors and shears. Well, do you have any way of him to improve at all? No? Okay, then I guess we'll never know on the whole situation on how to improve his artistic skills. And on the inside, sorry about these stains. Okay. Front, back, page, video guide, baby Mozart. The entire baby Mozart concert full ears soundtrack. I ain't seen no soundtrack. Maybe you wrote the soundtrack on the other side of the cover page and you didn't read it. Or maybe you took the CD soundtrack out of- oh, what the fuck am I doing? Why the hell am I being so literal on this video? I do have the CD though. No you don't because all it is is you're faking all of those tapes and CDs. But... But it's somewhere else, not in this one. Psst, hey, I have a secret. He doesn't actually have the CD. Can you please stop assuming things like as if they're the real deal? Maybe he actually doesn't have the VHS. Sure, but what if he actually does have the CD or used to have the CD or can't show it for some odd reason? We know your home skips, pick up the phone skips. We know your home skips, pick up the phone skips. All right. Here's the baby shape sphere. 2000 VHS. No page, no official soundtrack. So that means there is no sound in the tape? Are you kidding me? He said that there was no listing for the soundtrack, not for the fact that the music and dialogue between the characters would be gone. And even if there isn't music in the tape, that doesn't mean that there isn't no sound. We know your home skips, pick up the phone skips. We know your home skips, pick up the phone skips. Alright! The last VHS. Yes! Finally! is the B.B. Einstein Meet the Orchestra 2003 VHS. When Meet the Orchestra came out, VHSs were discontinued that time. So, FAKE! One, did you not just look up enough pictures of Mordecai? Because they're really easy to find. I feel like we've seen this picture of your avatar a few times way too many. Two, when he said 2003, the VHS was still relevant during that time, though he was technically wrong. I mean, Meet the Orchestra First Instruments was made on the VHS and was released in 2006. And three, I believe the VHSs were still made today, though, uh, not a lot. I mean, the last major movie to come out on VHS was on March the 14th, 2006, and even then. Ever watch Where the Dead Go to Die? I should probably explain that point. Where Did That Go To Die is a movie made by Screamer Claus where, um, uh, strange shit would go down. It, it's, uh, all bloody and gory and shit. I don't know, when I become a reviewer or some shit on YouTube, then I'll be talking about this movie in its entirety. But since you're 12, I advise you to wait on watching the movie until you're older. Anyway, the movie is out now on DVD, Blu-ray, and, you're gonna love this, limited edition VHS. Which still means that there can be pre-recorded movies that can be released on VHS. And even then, you've said that VHS was discontinued, like any different kinds of VHSs, even the blank ones. Well, a quick Google search suggested that there can be some blank VHSs that can be sold in stores such as Sears and Kmart. 
And there's even some that you can buy on Amazon. So you saying that VHSs are discontinued, I mean that companies don't make VHSs anymore at all during that time period. I'm calling bullshit on your bullshit that has bullshit smeared all over the original video. And here's the tea. Well, I guess that's it. Hopefully there will be a part two. Because I don't want to put too many audio files in my computer. Wait, what? You didn't want to add in too many audio files? Oh my god, why? You never explained why you didn't want to add in too many audio files on your computer. And even then, there are ways that you could possibly surpass them. Oh my god. Anyways, that was the end of the video. Now, what are my final thoughts? Skateboard Kid 2002. I suggest that you wait until you're 13 in order to make videos. That way, you won't be bombarded by the overall harassment later on in your internet life. And yes, that does mean that you shouldn't be making any more commentaries for now. I mean, I'm not sure if you're willing to improve at all. I mean, you do have the editing program with you, but uh, you did say longer commentaries on Google+. Plus, so... Yeah. And even then, I have no idea on whether or not if you have the script, and you really do make idiotic points throughout the commentary. Once you do turn 13, then you can come back. If you don't want to wait and want to continue on with the video, then fine. I guess I'm not really forcing anyone to quit. However, it would be wise, especially since, and I am sorry for this, if you won't take any kind of criticism in the near future, then you will have some kind of backlash by many other YouTubers slash commentators. Oh, and uh, by the way, one more thing, please don't make a bunch of insults. Anyways, that's it for this commentary. I'll see you all in hopefully my next commentary on Global Warming Hoax, 18 Reasons to Be a Climate Change Skeptic. And even then, I may or may not have one shot in between. For now, my name is A363MTR, saying have a wonderful journey through the depths of space and time, but until then, I am signing out.